Good morning, everyone. Happy Devotion Tuesday. Glad we're here together again. Want to share God's Word with us this morning. Uh, my title is just simply, Go Ahead, Whisper to God. Go Ahead, Whisper to God. Psalm 18.6 says, In my distress, I called to the Lord. I cried to my God for help from His temple. He heard me. He heard my voice. My cry came before Him into His ears. In my distress, I called to the Lord. I cried to my God for help from his temple. He heard my voice. My cry came before him, before him into his ears. <clears throat> and then Jeremiah 23, verses 23 and 24. I am I only a God nearby, declares the Lord, not a God far away. Who can hide in the secret places so that I cannot see them? declares the Lord. Do not I fill the heaven and the earth, declares the Lord. <clears throat> That's from the NIV. From the New Century Version, it reads this way. I am a God who is near, says the Lord. I am also a God who is far away. No one can hide where I cannot see him, says the Lord. I fill all of the heaven and the earth, says the Lord. <clears throat> so let's get into um, the topic today. On a typical day, if someone would ask you, what are you doing right now at this moment? How would you answer that question? The easy answer would be, it would cover the things that you were consciously and intentionally doing. However, it would, it would not include my arteries pumping blood throughout my body to distribute oxygen to my cells, or those mitochondrias in whose cells metabolizing carbohydrates and fatty acids to generate energy, or the dendrites of my brain's neurons receiving electrical messages that together translate into all my thoughts and emotions. The fact that any given moment are answers to that simple question, what are you doing right now? should be millions of things. In my mind, I try to wrap my brain around, how does God hear all of our prayers? How does God hear all of our prayers? I mean, God is not a super switchboard operator who has to take thousands of desperate callers, jamming the switchboard with their simultaneous prayers. Prayer is not a transaction. It, it is the way we connect to God. The psalmist said in Psalm 18.6, In my distress, I called to the Lord. I cried to my God for help. From his temple, he heard my voice. My cry came before him into his ears. The fact that God is able to hear personally everyone who talks to him you know what I long for, Lord. You hear my every sigh, said the psalmist in Psalm 38. God hears your sighs. God hears your whispers. Through all the millions of voices and prayers that go up every day, God hears your prayer individually. Praise the Lord. It shouldn't surprise us. He's numbered the hairs of our head, the Bible says. Uh, it says not a sparrow falls from the sky that, that God doesn't know about. The Psalms are filled with testimonies that God hears our cries, prayers, and whispers. David writes, in my distress, I called to the Lord. I cried to my God for help. Over and over again, he and other Psalmists plead, hear my prayer. Hear my voice. Hear my groans. Sometimes the expression is more of a whispered. Hear me. 1 John 5.14 says, This is the confidence we have in approaching God, that if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. Jeremiah said in Jeremiah 29, Then you will call on me and come and pray to me, and I will listen to you and will seek 
and you will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart. I want to tell someone this morning, does God hear you? It's a resounding yes. I feel like I'm praying and, and hitting a void. I feel like I'm praying and the heavens are brass. Does God hear me? Does God know where I am at right now? Does God know I'm hurting? Does God know I'm wounded? Does God know of my loss? Does God know of my grief? Does God know I need to be healed? Does God know I'm lost? The answer to all of that this morning from the scripture again and again and again is a resounding yes. God is a God of relationship and God is a God who communicates throughout the beginning of the Bible through the end of the Bible. God is a God who speaks to people. God is a God who loves people. When Jesus was being crucified, there was a thief that was dying next to Jesus. As he was suffering and dying, he cried out to Jesus in the confusion, in the noise, in the irreverence, and asked that Jesus would remember him when you come into your kingdom. Now, this man who is lost, this man who is desperate, this man reaches out to Jesus through the noise, through the chaos. And he just asks Jesus, remember me. And in Jesus' own hurt, in all the commotion of what is going by, he's answered immediately by Jesus. Jesus answers him. He says, truly, I tell you today, you will be with me in paradise. Now that's found in Luke chapter 22, 23. Uh, and that's the first time paradise is used. The first time that paradise is used. So Jesus is going to be in paradise. And I promise you, your ask is remember me. I'm going to remember you this day. You're going to be with par you're going to be in paradise with me today. A thief. Before he's not right with God and now he becomes right with God. He prayed, he asked, he reached out and he connected. And Jesus answers him. Praise the Lord. Jesus answers you. If you go to London today, in the towering dome of London's St. Paul's Cathedral, uh, I've been there, a beautiful place, visitors can climb 259 steps to ac access the Whispering Gallery. There you can whisper and be heard clearly by another person anywhere and anyone who's along that circular walkway. That walkway is about 137 feet. But if you're listening and, and you're whispering, um, other people can listen. Now, you could be whispering and it's just noise, right? Because everyone's whispering and, and you don't really have someone who is, who's receiving. But I, I want someone to know this morning that when you whisper the name of Jesus... You have a listener on the other end. God's ears are listening. God's heart is pointed towards you. What do you need this morning, God, to help you with? Do you need forgiveness? All you have to do is ask. Do you need your heart healed? The Lord is nearer to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. Do you need to know the Lord is near? The Lord is near to all. All who call upon him. Today, now, you just have to ask. You, you just need to whisper the name of Jesus. Whisper the name of Jesus for healing. Whisper the name of Jesus to feel his love. Whisper the name of Jesus for purpose. Whisper the name of Jesus for your next step. Whisper the next name of uh, whisper the name of Jesus 
to have peace flood your, your heart. The psalmist said, in my distress, I called to the Lord. I called to my God for help. From his temple, he heard my voice. My cry came before him into his ears. You have a God who's listening this morning. You have a God with ears. You have a God who cares. And you have a God who responds. James said in 4 eight, draw nigh unto God and he will draw nigh unto you. Go ahead this morning. Whisper to God, God, I need you. Can we pray? Father, I love you. There's someone who's listening this morning, Lord, who needs to know that you're listening and who needs to know that you'll respond. If you don't know Jesus this morning and then then I pray right now, you, you just be honest with God and say, God, I don't know if you're real or not, but if you are real and you have a plan for my life, I want you to know that I'm interested. God, I need my heart healed. God, I need peace in my heart. God, I need peace in my head. God, I need a job this morning. God, I need to be able to feed myself and to take care of the needs of, of my family. God, show me today that you hear my prayer. Show me this week, Lord, that you're listening. Become real into my life. Become real, Lord, to me this morning. I need you in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Begin in that prayer. If you're new, begin with repentance. If you've walked with the Lord, but you haven't talked to the Lord uh, in a little while, begin with repentance. If you want that full peace in your heart, um, why not call New Life Church and ask the pastor to baptize you in Jesus' name? Wash away all your chaos, wash away all your hurt, wash away all your wrongdoing and then just ask the Lord would you fill me with your spirit and see how you drawing to God will draw God near to you God bless you this morning I pray I dare someone to go ahead and whisper to God God I need you I'm yours and you're mine Help us in Jesus' name we pray this morning. God bless you all. Have a great rest of the day.